Okay, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna showcase just how good this HughesNet Gen 5 internet is. Hopefully my dead battery will last until I can get done recording this one little bit. I'm just trying to help some people because they have this commercial and it tells how great it is and then you get it and then you get stuck with it and that's just not not cool at all so here it is HughesNet Gen 5 it's directly hooked up to the PS4 and we're playing some Fortnite just show you guys how this thing runs on HughesNet Gen 5 and I am in bonus bytes so and I have plenty of bytes no matter what um, but yeah here it is so this is running at its very f full capacity <clears throat> I think we'll see the worst of it when I try to get um, up on one of them trailers. Well, one of those stacks here in a second. Ah, oh, stupid minigun. Minigun's not a very good gun unless you're trying to take down somebody's fort. But, let's see. That's all I got, so look it out. Probably something stupid over there. Okay, there's really only one box here. Sometimes there's three. So <laughs> yeah, I was I was actually running straight on there. Let's see what happens. Oh, I actually made it up there. Oh, tried to throw me off. Oh, come on. I did not move. It just threw me off there. Well, that was a crappy gun anyway. This will give you an idea. And you'll see, like, smoke down by his feet. And that's where it's rubber banding. Oh, there's nothing up there. Dang it. See that? Sometimes this thing will constantly rubber band and you can't get nowhere. As you can see, it's pretty much unplayable. Sometimes it won't pick up the ammo. Although that should all be automatic. When you run by it. Ah, uh, okay, it rubber banded me back where I needed to be. I always feel like I'm seeing a balloon out of the corner of my eye. <laughs> it is just because that's generally the best way to get a scar or a good RPG launcher, I should say. Yeah. See if I can get in here. Yeah, uh, maybe. There it goes. nothing up there oh, come on I just want to drop down oh well I was actually outside the building and didn't even know it see I didn't pick that up come on Okay, try to get up these stairs.
I'm gonna have to get going. Okay, it's please switch. So it's nice when it does that too because you could be in a gunfight and trying to switch your gun and it don't switch. Makes things very difficult. As a matter of fact, I just came in third the match before this and that was because I couldn't switch my my gun. It just ended up killing me. Nice. Okay, I'm all set. I do actually need to switch these. Ready to rock and roll if my shots will actually count. Come on, please go. Storm coming. That's one of the most annoying things about this game besides the lag and playing with HughesNet um, Gen 5, but like constantly running from a storm and then, you know, you're a one shot with with a hundred and a hundred by some guy with a sniper rifle. Like you've spent the last 15 minutes running just to end up being a one shot kill. And that becomes pretty darn annoying oh my god I fell down in there see that kind of stuff right there will ruin your your time while you're trying to actually play this and have fun and do good and you, Where's this guy? I didn't kill him, but it looks like something happened over there. Oh, there goes my cover. Try to drink that, he won't drink it. Hurry up. I think we're definitely gonna get caught in the storm. I don't trust my building, so...
There you go. That's the plan of the game online with HughesNet Gen 5.